So for your first question, Emily, you can answer first, Gabe, you'll answer second. Uh, the question is, what leadership skills have you acquired that deem you fit to ensure the proper functioning of the assistant core? All right. Um, so I've done flip uh, for the last semester. So I, uh, with that, I learned to um, improve my leadership skills that I had before. And I've always been a really uh, a leader type of person. For example, I was at a summer camp last summer and I was a um, camp counselor. So I know how to deal with crisis and all that stuff. And I know that kids and assistants are really different in age. However, I know that, um, for example, my responsible at the camp and the director of the camp always asked me if I wanted to be a coordinator. That means that I would be, be um, I would be um, managing the camp counselors. So that uh, makes me, I think that it makes me fit to be able to manage the assistants, people like the director and the responsible trust me enough to manage other people. And I've been known in other projects too. Um, for example, in high school, we had a whole huge project that required everyone in the class to participate. And um, my te the teacher actually scolded everyone because at the end of the project, everybody was um, actually relying on me and my other classmates. So we were two and everybody was relying on the two of us. So it was a lot of job, but we handled it, we handled it, it really um, quite well, actually. And um, I'm just a really positive person and I like to have everybody's opinion and but at the same time, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of nervous. But at the same time, um, I feel like because I'm such a happy person and understanding person, I can assist the assistant core uh, really well. That's it. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your answer. Uh, Gabe, your turn. Do you want me to repeat okay. the question? Um, no, that's good. Um, I, I am currently an assistant in the CSA. Um, I, I joined the CSA exactly to be an assistant. Um, I, I love being an assistant and I, and I, being an ex-assistant makes me have a deeper knowledge of what the assistants actually have to do and the work and the stress they have. So if I do become chief of staff, I think I'll have a better understanding of that since I was an ex-assistant. Uh, ex, ex um, I'm also, I was also in the CSA before, so I know the people in the CSA. Um, I'm also running as a party with uh, CSA members. A lot of them were already acclaimed, such as, such as the president. So knowing the people in the CSA per personally, I feel like it gives, it gives me the sense that they respect me and I respect them. So it, it, makes, a, it makes a more friendly environment in the CSA, which I think will allow me to prosper as a leader. Um, I'm also very cool headed. So I feel in a, in, a, in a stressful situation, I think it could relax the nerves of everybody. Um, also, also, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of, of giving orders. But um, I think it mostly goes back to the fact that as, as an ex-assistant, I know the boundaries of, an, of an, uh, where, where an assistant can be pushed to its limit and not to the breaking point. So I, I think I have a deeper understanding of the work that I actually have to do. That's all I have to say. Awesome. Thank you both very much for your answers. Uh, for the second question, Gabe, you'll answer first. Emily, you'll answer second. In terms of your role, specifically as the chief of staff, how do you want to bring positive change in organization a positive change to the organizational aspects of the CSA? To begin with, I think the communication is extremely keen. Um, of course, if I saw some files, some, some files would be uh, misplaced. I would, have, I, would have, I would, of course, talk to the person who was in charge of those files and to let them know that I'm, that I'm refiling them or reorganizing them because um, without communication it could lead to a lot of disor disorganization. So I think communication is keen. Also, um, keeping uh, the storage room in a proper tidy organization also file file the organization the storage room because I feel like a lot of the storage room is um we don't know what it is so filing them with actual names would be very important would be would very simplify things such as getting light bulbs or getting wire stuff stuff, stuff such as that and um <coughs> also also I think I would I would put an assistant to help me out when it comes to that an assistant I trust very dearly assistant I know is able of, of organizing it. and um that would be mostly 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 filing it a proper communicate proper communication and um, sometimes not being afraid to take the, take directive and do stuff by myself. 
Perfect. Thank you very much. And Emily, do you want me to repeat the question? Uh, no, it's fine. Thanks. Um, so for the organization part, I'm actually, I love organizing, so that won't be a problem for me. And quarantine is actually perfect because I get to clean every day. It's really nice. Um, but I agree with what Gabriel said for the communication. I think it's extremely important, not only with the assistants, but also with the executive members. And that's why I want to put like a sort of um, <clears throat> system with, I know it sounds really childish, but I think that it's really good and could be have a positive uh, light on the executives and the community that the CSA form, but every week, at the end of the week, we could um, write like little messages of what you think that the executives did right, and that, or like you found cool, or you found that was really nice, and that could improve a lot the um, communication and the interaction between the CSA members. Um, that's for the communication part that I think is really important because it could improve. Uh, I think that it would push them harder as executive members and for the organization um part i think that put them i don't know if you guys have this i took a glimpse at the inventory but like not i'm not often there because i wasn't a csa member but uh if we could put boxes and then label them and put everything that's in team together in different boxes that could make it so much easier to find things and it would make it everything in order and order orderly yeah <laughs> perfect thank you so much for your answers and now emily will ask you your questions uh, specifically to your campaign promises one of your campaign promises is to establish more activities to give back to the community <laughs> and the teachers at champlain what types of activities that will unite both students and teachers did you have in mind all whilst taking into consideration that the CSA budget is funded by the students and not the teachers. Okay, so by what I meant uh, by that is not um, giving them back like the money they gave, gave us, more like, I know it's their job, but they're still teachers. And some of the teachers I met at Champlain actually are incredible and they actually think about your success. That's what kind of thing that I want to give back is their gen generosity. And the thing that I wanted to incorporate was kind of like a, um, similar to the idea that I had with the CSA thing, the system, more of like uh, a compliment day. And what I would do is basically with the students help and the teachers help if they want to participate would be to write uh, messages to a friend or a teacher, someone that made an impact in their life and to um, stick in their locker or uh, because it's quite private, it's a quite private thing, the lockers and, and thing, give it to a CSA member and that person would be in charge uh, of then giving it in the lockers and stuff like that. I think that we don't hear a lot of compliments these days. Um, at the school, you don't really think about seeing a person that you don't really talk to and then you're like, oh, I like this about you and I like this about you. And sometimes it's just refreshing to hear that about, um, just to be grateful for the little things in life. And I think if the teachers um, want to participate with the students, it would be uh, really, really nice. And um, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, Gabriel, this question is for you. One of your campaign promises is to work harder with the mental health group to promote better mental health. Apart from promoting mental health, what concrete ideas do you have to provide students with the right resources at Champlain? In other words, what is lacking in the resources and what needs to be changed? I was ready for that question. Uh, okay, so as you may know, you may know Christian. Christian is a part of the mental health crew. And uh, if I do become a chief of staff, I really want to. I want to work with him to. Well, I want to work with him to uh, advertise and to promote uh, new upcoming activities in in the in the college. Um, but to answer your question directly, um, we have great we have great friends in the college. We have uh, we have David, for example. We have Sheila. Great people in this in the college who can help. Who can help us. Can help us. Um, create activities for mental health. They're, they're, not, they're not idiots. They, under, they understand that students are under a lot of stress and some of them can be depressed. I'm not saying that the college doesn't, doesn't do anything to, for mental health. What, what I'm saying is that we could always do better. Certainly in our day and age, um, 
Of, of course, um, it would have to be established in communication with the students, but there's no reason not to. In our, we, we are lucky enough to be blessed with telephones such as this one, where we can, we can send them messages. We, we can just even maybe just have a pep rally, just have an open circle of, of friends and people to discuss mental, mental health with will help them. Um, often the problem I feel is that students are, feel like they're not heard. Students feel like the college isn't really listening to them. So if we could just establish a place and time where students can come and talk about their problems with the, with the college or with themselves, I think that would help out a lot. Um, that's it. Okay, thank you. Um, with that, Love that myself. concludes um, the open forum. Uh, we thank you both for participating and uh, we wish you the best of luck with uh, the remainder of your campaign and the election period.